Hey there YouTube, it's Dante again with another tutorial. On this video I'm going to show you guys how to fetch your site as Google and Bing. But first, why is it important to fetch your site at all? Well, search engines are constantly updating your information. When new sites are added to the internet, they have to go out there and find them. Now, it takes up to four months for Google or Bing to just find your, find your site on their own. Um, you know, there's millions of sites being added to the internet every day, so they have to take their time with that. The fastest way to get the most updated information to the search engines is by fetching your site as Google and Bing. That way, every time you update your site, you can say, hey, my site's updated, it's time for you guys to know about it. And that is what fetching your site as Google and Bing really is. So let's get into it. Let's go over to Wix. I'm going to show you how to fetch your site. Alrighty, so from the Wix editor, we're going to go over to Bing. We're going to fetch our site as Bing first. So in your search bar, you can just type in Bing Webmaster Tools. And click on the Bing Webmaster Tools uh, result. If you don't already have a Bing account or a Microsoft account, you're going to have to make one. So you can sign up here. I already have one, so I'm just going to go ahead and sign in. The site we're going to be fetching today is Marriage Built to Last. So let me get the URL for that. So it's going to be www.marriagebuilttolast.com. And this is the URL you're going to want to fetch as Google. Your full domain name. www.yourbusinessname.com And just paste that on into the add a site. And at that site. We don't have a, a site map to add, so we're going to skip that part. Alright, now once that is done, it's going to ask you to verify ownership of your site. The best way to do that is to just copy this code right here, the meta name. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. Where you're going to post that, or you're going to paste, I'm sorry, you're going to go to your site. You're going to go down to site settings. You're going to go to SEO. You're going to scroll all the way down here to meta tags. Paste that in there for Bing. And then once you paste that in there, you're going to want to go ahead and publish your site. Awesome. Congratulations, your site is published. Now let's see if Bing will go ahead and verify the site for us. There you go, your site is verified. Once it takes you to this page, that means your site is verified. But that does not mean your site has been fetched by Bing, that just means that you're allowed to manage the site on the Webmaster Tools. Now how do you fetch your site as Bing? You're going to go to Diagnostics and Tools. Then from the Diagnostics and Tools menu, you'll go to Fetch as Bing Bot. And you're going to type in, oh, not that code. My mistake. You're going to go back to the URL, your domain name, and you're going to paste your domain name in there, and you're going to fetch your whole, your, your home page of your website as the big bot. Then once it's fetched it, that's how you fetch your site as Bing and that's that's just allowing them to know that your website is updated on Bing now let's go do the same thing as Google alrighty now we're back to our editor we can go and fetch our site as Google so we do the same thing that we did for Bing we'll go to Google Webmaster Tools and there is this called the Google Search Console Let's go to the Google Search Console. 
and we're going to go ahead and add a property here the property that we're going to add is the marriage bill to last and we're always going to fetch our home page so we'll paste the URL to the home page there And again, we have to verify that we do own the site. And the best way to verify that is using the HTML tag or the meta tag. So we're going to go ahead and copy that and paste that into our site by going to Site, going down to Site Settings. Under Site Settings, there's a menu to the left. Click on SEO. And scroll down. And then right under the Bing Webmaster Tool uh, metadata, we're going to paste in the Google Webmaster uh, metadata. And it's perfectly fine. It won't mess with your Bing um, verification or anything. You just add that and you will need to publish your site again. So once your site is published, you're now able to verify your site under the uh, Google Search Console. So let's go ahead and verify it. Congratulations, you've successfully verified ownership of your site. Continue. And what we're going to do is we're going to go, there's a menu over here to your left. And on that menu, what you're going to do is you're going to go to crawl. And under the crawl menu, you're going to go to fetch as Google. And I'm going to leave the URL blank because I want to fetch it as the home page. So I'm going to fetch as the home page. And over here, it's going to say it's complete for today's date and then I'm going to submit it to the Google index now submitting it to the Google index is basically submitting your site to how can I break this down? basically submitting it a new book to the library letting Google know that hey this is an updated site index it add it to your to your library of new sites so now that the Google has fetched it it's now added to their index and they know that it's a, a new site and that is how you fetch your site as Google and Bing follow those steps each time you want the search engines to know that your site is updated now if you want more information on how to promote your Wix site how to add SEO or how to add uh, keywords to your images to get your site better rankings on Google, I did a video. It's called Five Free and Easy Ways to Promote Your Site. I'll, clue, I'll include a link somewhere in this video, and I'll also have a um, annotation to it at the end of this video. If you have any questions, comments, if I didn't um, explain something in enough detail, please leave a comment below. Um, also, if you like free advice on your business, about any subject about business finance, small business advertising, marketing, just any type of business advice, our email address is going to be displayed on the screen somewhere also. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Yeah.